All right, I'm back. Hey chat, I know it's been a while. Glad to be back. Um, why am I playing MTGA core set as opposed to the other ones? Um, there's a couple of reasons. The first is I haven't played in ages MTGA at all. Literally just reinstalled the game from uh, last night. So part of it is kind of get re-familiarized with that. Two, um, the other set has been out for a while. So there's gonna be a pretty well-defined meta for it. And I have no idea what that meta is and jumping into it uh, at that level seems like kind of a dumb idea comparatively. And three, I'm kind of interested in the core set drafts. So we're gonna try that, start with here. We might move around, depends how much I put into this play time wise, I don't know yet. So they do have, um, it's been so long since I played this on stream. They do have um, live drafting now. So I will be drafting at a table with other people which is kind of cool. So I played like three drafts last night, I think. All right, what do you guys think? Is this a bomb or an absolute scam? What else is in here? So this is M19 first. I'm familiar with the M19 set. I don't know the M20 or the M21 set. I feel like, dude, I don't know. Red is great in M19. So there's a lightning strike, which is totally reasonable playable card. And there's a prodigious growth, which I think is a bit of a scam. That's my new bike treating me. I don't have a new bike yet. I get it May the 18th. Salvager too slow? Salvager's fine, I just don't think it's a good starting card. Fuck, this seems terrible. I didn't hate this card in M19, but I didn't love it. I don't like this card at all. I don't really like auras. This just feels like such a big way to get blown out. Who knows, we're gonna be playing like, since I haven't played in so long, this is like silver or bronze or something. I think we made it to silver yesterday, but I'm not entirely certain. So we're gonna be playing really low level players, which means there's gonna be a lot of fucking auras. Lots of red, but no good red, right? So it doesn't necessarily mean that red's open. It just means I'm getting a bunch of red, but I agree with the blue being, oh, you said green. I'm getting a lot of, I see a lot of blue coming my way. Seems like salvagers are being undervalued. Had that divination, seeing a surge mare. Surge mare is a blue, decent blue card. This is the pack that's been packed around, passed around. I'm actually looking at blue green splashing red right now. That's what I'm looking at. No conform, but I'm happy to take the woodland stream. Okay, I think I'd rather a single titanic growth than a single vial of dragon fire. Not sure. You have no idea how this game works. Okay, um, I'm happy to explain stuff if you have questions. It's, I mean, the, the general theme, theme of things is I'm building a deck right now. I will eventually be matching into another player. And uh, once I've done that, the goal is to deplete the opponent's life total from 20 to zero. All right, we're gonna play this. This deck is, um, it's a first try kind of deck. It seems quite bad. And I wish I had the fucking snake instead of the second warden. Dude, how do I get back from this? This is the most troll interface ever. Do you think the magic, I just click under it, I see. Yeah. So many years, it has been a long time, isn't it, Sean? All right, what do you got? Okay, uh, do we have mods in chat? Let's start doing predictions for these. Uh, and. Algen Holland, I'm happy to answer more questions if you ask, answer specifically. I'll try to explain what I'm doing to begin with and started. Do you think we'll get six wins is the question that I would like answered with this. I know seven's the max, but I don't think we're getting seven with this. Let's see if a yes, no, will we get six or more wins is what I want for the um, for that if possible. So no green mana, we're going first, but we have early plays. And if we draw a green, we're in good shape. It's good enough to keep, I think. How about a single win? You think I'm not gonna, I think I'll get a single win with this. We're in like fucking bronze or whatever it is. I guess we're silver. All right. Opponent mold to six. <laughs> Another island. I'd say that's probably the worst draw we could get in the deck right then. We're currently perfect. Uh, nine nine split, right? What's this thing do? ETBs don't work. We all can we target? It doesn't do anything. It's just a one four. He just cast a, a raw one four onto this board. I mean, all right. So more mana value out of Sage's Road Denizen will get full mana saturation. The Surge Mare is a much more interesting attacker and blocker. Sage Mayor is entire the Sage Road Denison is entirely blanked by this too. Okay. My third eye a green screen, indeed. How are we looking right now? I mean the way I normally play over here, right? So that's fine. Alright, axe. So I can make this into to kill it, I have to make it a four one so it doesn't let us attack, which is annoying. I could give it flying and start getting in and cycling cards. I 
I think with this hand, I'm actually going to do that. I don't actually love it. Is there anything that matters here? What do we... We need green mana really badly. Okay. Look at that. All right, I want fifth land. I don't think I have time for Denizen, so I'm going to discard that. And then we're going to get in. We can also cycle with this, right? We'll do that. Okay, happy to get rid of island there. All right. So, from zero green to two green, we can cast out two mana dorks next turn. I did get rid of our self mill guy. He doesn't really do anything on this board. Get some serious pumping out of this. It's just mana inefficient to do that. Three two flyer gives us dude flying. Okay, I don't care about a three two flyer. So we, if we attack, we become a two four, right? Now I'm going to take damage in return. I'm not sure if the card cycle is worth it here or not. Probably. I kind of want a second salvager already. So I can start casting these next turn if I don't discard them. There's currently no instants or sorcerers in our graveyard. I think I want everything else. I think this is actually salvager. Kind of weird. How does land work and what decides the turn order? Turn order is, starts as a coin toss, then you alternate. Uh, what does land do? Land fuels your spells. See so yeah, how this card has a three next to a blue symbol? It means it requires one blue land and three colorless lands. So it requires four total to cast, one which has to be blue and three which can be anything. So this is now untapped. He wants to block with this. I don't really want him blocking with this. I could ignore it and just cast out wardens for now. I think it's better than tapping it down. He's not attacking with it. I don't care if he just sits there. I wonder if I should have tapped, this guy could provide another, both provide green. I probably should have actually tapped one of them to be, have the ability to interact with the Surge Mirror still. Okay. All right. I don't know if he's mono white or if he's got multiple, multiple colors and he just hasn't played them out yet. Okay. So here I'm actually gonna talk, tap down this flyer. It lets me both discard lands to the Surge Mayor, getting his free ability, as well as prevents him from having a, an annoying amount of blocking. It is unfortunately one mana shy of getting value out of... Um... Wait, what am I trying to do here? That. All right, let's capture Sphere of the 5-2. Turn order? Turn order, I, it, this is my turn. So the phases at the bottom here are the phases of the turn. And we work through, that's annoying. So this is in here, feet of resistance, plus one, plus one, and protection from blue, huh? It's quite obnoxious. Okay. Is it, it does not permanent the protection from blue, right? That's just temporary. So I can attack with green creatures here. Uh, if he blocks this, where his, he could block those two and I only kill one. Do I trade the Warden for the 6-3? I probably do. I've got another one in hand and really good draw capabilities here. So I guess I offer that. I'm not super excited about that. Take it. All right, there is a question about do we play out any more land here? I think the answer is one more land. Okay. So um, there's there's a summoning phase, an attacking phase, and a summoning phase after the attacking phase. You can only cast certain spells at certain times. 
unless there are things like instant. So some spells can be cast in any phase and some cannot. So he played a this card that he cast that protected his creature is a spell that he could cast at any time. It's an instant instant spell. It's a whole order for that, but it's it's probably less useful than the larger concepts first. Magic question. If you had to either increase or decrease your current number of belly buttons by one, you would decrease by one and be fine with that. Is he going to attack me with that bird, you think, chat? Looks like a yes. I have enough mana to pump twice. I think that's a fine trade. Otherwise, it's going to start being an issue here, right? That's fine. Okay. All right, tons of mana here. How much though? Four, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. So we're one off double casting these, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to throw out a second Warden. I don't really care if he attacks me at the moment. I'm going to hold the land. I hate that we got rid of the, the Mare for cycling, but I think it's okay. The huge green things were good picks. They're helping in this game, but I don't actually know what they're good picks. I mean, drawing me cards when he targets me seems great. It's so hard to interrupt that. Sure. Is he going to swing with his big boy? He thinks he is. Taps the creature, though. Good luck winning. All right. That gives him seven power exactly if he wants to uh, triple block. Maybe he should be attacking with the visionary. He already drew me a card, though. It's on entry, right? Okay. So he doesn't want to multi-block because he's scared of a trick, but I don't think a single block gets him anywhere, right? All right. I don't know if there's any board clears in this um, in this format or not. But I think we'll win from here. There is a double, there's multiple double strike spells in this format. There's one in 19, I think there's one in either 20 or 21. So this is a composite of, you get one pack from core 19, one pack from core 20, and one pack from core 21. I don't want to randomly die to some bullshit. I don't care if he has a trick here. I don't think it matters. Let him spend his mana here. Sure. All right, actually a really nice draw. He's at 15. Does the little fucker have lifelink off that? It gives lifelink, I see. Okay. These are vigilant, so I have a lot of ability to attack into that. Can't stop him in the air. What is this? Can't be blocked by more than one creature. So he's obviously gonna trade that with the 3-1 if we let him. I don't have to let him though. playing mono white with flyers so he's like guaranteed to have the plus two plus one for all of his creatures and he's definitely still attempting to race here right let's race math all right we'll transfer that to there call it a turn can't block his flyer we're at 12 protected our life total a little bit minority life length last time it changed all the math off this it's kind of an annoying trick huh Do 
oh, double strike. I misread what you think. I was th I was thinking of that stupid red card that lets you um, copy the next spell. It might actually be called double strike. I don't remember. Do you mean are there any um, tricks that give double strike as an ability? I don't know. What does this do? When he attacks, create a one one bird token. Okay. He's at five. So what are we doing with that? You can't not block either of these. Okay, this is a sorcery. I mean, right now he could not block the boar. But if he not, if he doesn't block the boar, he's got to block this if he, not, I guess we just do that because we get boar damage in, right? So if I attack with everything right now, he's got no cards in hand. He has to block each of the five sevens. And the 4-3 trades favorably with everything except the angel, right? I think this is a swing all. I was just trying to see if I need to move the Marauder's Axe around. I don't think I do. Can't draw. This doesn't actually... This only draws me creature or land cards. I will actually cast this in a second, but... Yeah, it's fine. I like playing a flyer here, seems good. Yeah. So he's gotta block something. He's gotta draw a card that block he's gotta draw draw a board clear here. Maybe I shouldn't have played this because a single card that wasn't a board clear wasn't gonna get him anywhere. And this plays into a board clear. I was kinda looking at the fact that it's a flyer, but I have so many attackers it's probably just wrong. One. Do we get that? We got the prediction up or no? 